audience. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. Y'all trying to kill me. You killing me, man. This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids. And I can't do it. Y'all just don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. See, I had to refresh our memory. After all that, Robert Kelly, R. Kelly, the Pied Piper, all that enthusiasm, the tears, the empathy, like, I could never do that. But in 2019, his trial started and he was facing eight counts of sex trafficking and one count of racketeering. So you would think that he's going to, you know, show remorse. He seemed like, oh my gosh, I really didn't do it. He's having emotional outbursts in that video. But when he went to trial and he watched over 45 victims of his victims, people that alleged to be his victims, and they recounted the abuse. And don't forget, some of his victims were men. So he, there was a lot going on at that trial in case you watched it. If you didn't, definitely try to check up on it because it was hurtful. It was sad. And Mr. R. Kelly showed absolutely no remorse. That is why the jury found him guilty on all nine counts. After that conviction, on June 29th of this month, yes, 2022, Robert Kelly, R. Kelly, will be sentenced. Now, the prosecution is saying, throw the book at him. Throw the book at him. We want him to get 25 to life. And his lawyer is saying, hey, no, let's only give him 14 years. Like the minimum is 10, but his lawyer is like, okay, you found my client guilty. How about we only give him 14 years? That's a lot considering he's already 55. And this is not even the half of it. He has just been convicted in New York. He still faces federal charges in Chicago for child pornography and obstruction of justice. And this New York case is a federal case as well, but a lot of people, a lot of convicts know that with that time, you only have to serve about 10 months and that counts as a year. It's a whole thing, but he faces state charges in Illinois and Minnesota. So they are trying to get him as much time as possible. So if he doesn't get the 25 years in New York, I can bet your butt when he goes to Chicago, the feds are going to add there. And then when he faces the state charges in Minnesota and Illinois, they're going to add even more. So he's looking at possibly spending the rest of his life. And at this point, I don't know. He's going to need lenient judges. I mean, unless even if we were expecting him to live until he was a hundred and plus, this man may spend the rest of his life in prison. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. This is Daisha Shaquilla and on my channel, I talk all things law, crime, and culture. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like this video and subscribe to the channel.